Today we're going to try to use um, a icing die. See if we can color some <laughs> egg whites, which we're gonna use for deviled eggs. This time of year we're two days away from Halloween, so at the stores all the regular food dye is pretty much you know hard to come by. So we're gonna do a little experiment where we add this this icing dye in um, a concentrated solution around some of these egg whites we've already boiled. Not really sure how much time this is gonna take, so hopefully we can pull out the egg at different times. All right, yeah, go home, go crazy. Oh, it's like it's a jelly, huh? Huh. And this is apple cider vinegar you're adding? Yeah, it's just what I had. <laughs> that sounds good. They already look like really black. So these were just freshly boiled. Yeah, it looks like it's taken up a lot of the, the color already. And you just added a little bit. Yeah. We're about 30 seconds into this. But uh, what do you say we just uh, top off the level of the liquid so that it's oh, okay. fully submerged, and then we'll put on a, a timer and come back to this in a little bit. OK, so after five minutes, I grab a slide spoon, remove them from the dye. Uh, put it into the sieve, ran it under cold water for just about, I don't know, 30 seconds. And with just a little bit of handling, you can see where maybe some of the yolk didn't uh, get totally rinsed away before the dye started. Uh, but really, uh, that's the only the only part that really rubbed off. I suppose if you got aggressive, uh, you could etch a little more off. Looks a little green there. It's kind of cool. But, you know, if you're making the deviled eggs out of this, this section is going to be covered up, so it won't make a difference. So with light handling, you can see pretty much, mm, I don't know, I'm still getting some color here coming off of my hands. I don't know, supposedly maybe we could pat this dry and see, yeah. see what happens. Uh, but for the purposes of your guests, I think it's going to be fine. The color's going to adhere and this seems to be like a fine substitute so yeah maybe I'll see if I can rub these down with some paper towel and get um, none of the dye to stick to my hands so I don't know how easy to see this is a little before and after this one I just patted down with some paper towel um, as you can see there's really not too much in the line of dye coming off of it um, could be a lot worse for black ink, uh, and this is the one that I, I didn't dry. But this is still continuing to weep a little moisture over time. Um, I feel like if you were in a pinch of making these in a batch, it might just be sufficient enough to go ahead and pipe in the yolk mixture, and then pop it in the refrigerator, and that'll do its own desiccating. Okay, so we just mixed up with a little uh, red food dye, none of the other ingredients, because this is just a quick how-to. So. Oh, Let's see how it looks on the inside. Yeah, <laughs> go for it. All right. I'm just curious how far that dye permeated. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a little panda. Little panda thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. So it just essentially got like a surface layer to it. Um, but in any case, this is a shameless pot product plug, I guess. But if you're interested, we got this at uh, AC Moore. I see that this company on the company website, they'll sell it at Michael's. Color Right, it's considered a refill, I guess, because they have like a whole performance color kit that comes with a variety of colors. Uh, and they say on their website, there's uh, color formulation and project ideas and stuff like that. But reading the ingredients, you'd figure that this was just meant for icing or food or something like that. But um, 
the, the tip of it's controlled so that it does drop just you know a certain amount of time in aliquot so you can decide how much is just right this was just a quick experiment you know we put in you know probably quite a lot but you see it got the job done and very quickly and I see why this isn't a, a great substitute for just regular normal black food coloring dye so I hope this helped and uh, happy Halloween